Steel is strong, hard, enduring. Over 80 different alloy steels have been developed from the one basic building block, iron. The most common source of iron is iron ore. Iron which is found in the Earth's interior that is one of man's most valuable possessions. When you see a pine forest up on the range, you could be seeing an iron mine. Giant shovels scoop up huge bites of ore. Open pit mining involves a lot of big machines. Some of these shovels have a capacity of 15 tons. Huge masses of this ore are transported from the mines to the blast furnaces. The iron ore is mixed with coke and limestone and then loaded into the top of the furnace. This towering structure holds many, many tons of the red ore, which is soon to become iron. Now they are preparing to tap a furnace at the base. A thin stream of metal begins to flow, glowing liquid iron. No chance for injury on this job. That asbestos suit and helmet would protect from any stray sparks or spatters. The molten metal is transported directly to the steel mill. In the mill, many huge furnaces await the carloads of dazzling liquid iron. And there she flows. In the modern Bessemer process, the converter is tilted on its side, and hot metal from a blast furnace is poured into it through the open top. This converter is then tilted upward, and blast of air is forced through holes in the bottom of the converter, up through the molten metal, which shoots skyward with blazing brilliance. The process changes the iron into steel. A long line of furnaces holds steel in the making. Steel that will someday enter your life. Perhaps carry you safely on some journey. Number three is going to pour. One of the monsters, like a huge egg with a top sliced off, tips over on its trunnion and shoots millions of sparks through the dim traceries of girders and all down the length of the arena and pours into a ladle its load of steel that glows like the sunset. Men on the platform will shovel in the correct amounts of spiegel, ferromanganese, ferrosilicon. Like good cooks, they must know the temperature of the brew, and they measure it on an optical parameter. The steel is poured into molds, forming ingots. And we have what's called an ingot. The huge castings are hauled away to a furnace called a soaking pit, which holds them at exactly the right heat for the anvil of the modern blacksmith, the rolling mill. Now this steel is fairly on its way to you, because in this one chunk of white hot metal, there may be thousands of cans, kitchen utensils, refrigerators, and innumerable things in everyday use.